Our next report is about the Lights for Chinatown Design Contest, sponsored by the Chinatown uh, Merchants Association and the Vancouver Province newspaper. Ed Kwan, our intrepid reporter, was in Chinatown walking and talking about lanterns. He was following up on a story that Sarah Hugh did last month with Alan DiGenova of the Chinatown Merchants Association. Um, we went out to the people of the province on a new low-level lighting. We wanted to bring back lighting where uh, people felt a little more comfortable walking in Chinatown in the evenings and at the same time giving it some kind of uh, decorative feeling. And we're down now to the uh, runner-ups which we've chosen and the three uh, semi-finalists and as of next week we'll be choosing the finalists. Finalist and design winner Fenton Loyola watercolor artist in conversation in Chinatown with Ed Kwan. What made you decide to enter the Chinatown contest? Well, I was reading the province newspaper and I saw this contest out for the lights to, design, to be designed for Chinatown. And at the same time, it was coincidental that I was reading some uh, literature on the art of the Ming Dynasty. I was looking at some Chinese cups which bore some dragons uh, on these cups from the Ming Dynasty and I thought this would be quite nice to incorporate into, a, into the design and decided to enter the contest. Uh, it took me a few times to uh, draw them up and after several times attempting this thing, uh, I turned out with something that I was satisfied with and I submitted it to the province and uh, was very really surprised to hear that I won it. And how much time did you spend developing your, your design? Uh, probably a day's work, uh, about eight hours of it. Eight hours. Yeah. Uh, there's lots of cups of coffee in between. <laughs> so you put in eight hours of work and you submit your contest, and now that you've won first prize, and the prize that you'll be receiving is? A trip for two to Hong Kong for seven days. Uh, they haven't contacted me yet as when I could go, but I'm sure it's going to be great when I do go. <laughs> yeah. Now we hear there are entrants from all around the world. Uh, could you tell us a bit about your competition that you're up against? Uh, there were approximately 100 designs on display there, which one of them was mine. And there were some uh, professional people who had entered uh, from the companies, various companies around Vancouver, as well as from the United States. Uh, it's quite proud because I'm not a professional artist and not a graphic designer. Uh, I'm a watercolorist and oil painter, uh, but that's to the extent of what I do, so I was quite thrilled by the fact. I've been always interested in the Chinese culture anyway, so, yeah. So how long have you been doing your art? If it may be watercolor, which is what you do. Watercolors? Yeah, I started in about 1980. I've been painting from as a small child, but I've never been to art school. It's all self-taught, so uh, I've been fortunate, I guess. Well, Fenton, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Congratulations on winning the contest. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is Edward Kwan in Chinatown for Chinatown Today. Mm -hmm.